What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am not applying makeup. I know that might sound a little shocking, but we are going to dive into the infamous topic of anti-aging and skincare. Now, this is not a full regimen of how I do my skincare. I know you guys have been asking for that for a long time. I promise I will do it this summer. I want to talk about anti-aging, extreme anti-aging, and what I do personally to look this way. And it's crazy because to me, and a lot of people say this when they haven't seen me in a while or a few years, they're like, bitch, are you like rewinding? The age clock, how do you look like that? How do you have no wrinkles under your eyes, no bags? It's not easy, I will say that. I will say that right now, of course, we are gonna go into a little in-depth whole thing. I'm also gonna be applying some masks. I'm gonna be talking about my favorite moisturizers, um, favorite lip scrubs, creams for the hands, neck, face, everything, bitch. I got a cream for everything. Quick disclaimer, everything in today's video works for me, of course. Trying out things throughout the years um, is how I discovered a lot of this stuff. And I'm also going to be talking about some tips and tricks that I do on the daily that of course are free. Um, just everyday life from when you're in the car, when you're out in the sun. All the crazy shit that I do to look like this. I just want to put it out there you guys that I just turned 30 years old. What's up? 3-0. How are you? So what does 30 mean? It means that it's time to really amp up the anti-aging if you don't want to age. Now, there are a lot of people who are going to say, but aging gracefully is amazing and I like uh, wrinkles. Uh, sorry, that was hard to come out of my mouth. Now, I do want to say one thing because I always make jokes about plastic surgery and fillers. Now, I think that a lot of YouTube beauty gurus go way overboard with their fillers and that's obviously their insecurities and they have a lot going on right here. But if you want to do something for yourself because you want to change you and there is no other factors, there is no one else telling you what to do and you want to do it for yourself, I think that is the only time that you should do anything and modify yourself. If you want to get your breast done, if you want to get bigger lips, if you want to get Botox and you want to do it for you, Bitch, go do it, and if it makes you feel better inside or just because you wanna change something for fun, I think that is what's most important. Now, I am gonna say this. Of course, you guys have seen me get lip injections um, on my channel, but I do not have Botox, and a lot of people probably make jokes because I've made jokes, and I'm very sarcastic. <laughs> but if you... I am a very sarcastic person, and throughout the years, I have made jokes about getting facial surgery crazy shit done to me um, and a lot of it was just me being funny and none of it was true. So I've had my lips done. Do I have Botox? Do I have filler? Do I have anything else in my face? No! That is the final answer. I don't know. Maybe people don't believe me because I've said shit in the past. I don't know, but I can move my forehead. I can move any part of my face. I mean, there's no Botox in this face or I'd be a little more frozen. I think a, the problem with today's society and anti-aging and the market for it is that a lot of times it's geared for like old women or older people. The problem with that, you guys, is that it's kind of, I'm not saying it's too late, but if you're going to show a 60 year old a eye cream, it's already too late. They are, they've aged already around their eyes. If you have crow's feet already and it's really severe, you know, it's not that it's too, too late, but you should have done it before. So I think a lot of the times all these myths and secrets and tricks, a lot of it is really just like a lie. And you know, companies are trying to sell you the dream. At the end of the day, it's all about genetics. And it also your diet is very important. I drink water all day long. It may seem like I'm just drinking Red Bull on Snapchat all the time, but I am drinking water all day long and your diet is very important to aging as well for all of you people that are addicted to caffeine and soda that just dries out your skin and over time you will look a little bit older as we like to say but if you want to see what the fuck I'm talking about and all these crazy tricks I got on my sleeves then keep on watching I at age, I'm trying to think of here. Girl, I'm trying to rewind the fucking clock. One, two, three. Okay, probably at around age 15, so 15 years ago, I trained myself to not move my face. So what does that mean? It means that you see my forehead. I mean, for my age, my forehead is very smooth. There are a little few fine lines in there, which is obviously normal but I have done a really good job of when I'm talking or laughing or really expressing, I don't really move my face. And I don't mean when I'm talking, I'm just like, I move my face, but I don't really move this area a lot and I don't like move my forehead. So I don't really move my face. When I laugh, 
I don't move my eyes. <laughs> Now we're about to dive into some skincare and I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite products. We're going to test out and show you guys a new mask that just hit the market a month ago. Now when I'm washing my face or cleansing, you need to find products that have no alcohol in them, okay? Alcohol in anything is the devil. It will age you. Now some things have to have a tiny bit amount of alcohol for formulas and I understand that and I definitely look past that sometimes, but toners that have severe alcohol in it, you are just literally wiping the future off of your face. So one of my favorite primers ever is by the brand Sisley. It is the Floral Toning Lotion. Now I have mentioned this in a previous favorites video. This is my third bottle. It is a Amazing. Now, I love to use little cotton circles. You can get these at the drugstore. Now, everything in today's video, you guys, sadly, is really not drugstore or price friendly. Anti aging stuff, you really cannot find something that is going to really stop time at Walgreens. But you can definitely get these cotton pads. And I'm not trying to be shady, but that's just really, really realistic. I have tried out so many products and I just don't think that the drugstore is the anti-aging kingdom of where you're gonna find all the secrets. So this toner, it's a little more pricey, but it is amazing. It's also good for dry and sensitive skin out there. People ask me all the time, what kind of skin do you have? Do you have dry, do you have normal, do you have combination, do you have oily? I really fall in that middle category of just normal skin. In the morning, you guys, I love to wake up and before I even brush my teeth, I mean, the teeth are a really important bitch, but the skin is what I really focus on first. So I will take a little cotton pad and I will put some all in here and then I just wipe down my skin and this will remove all of the dirt and oil that your skin was dealing with throughout the night. I will wipe down my entire face and I love wiping down my neck, the neck and this area is very important. Now, let me show you something a little disgusting. You see that? That was on my face. This is all the dirt and oil from last night. So once the dirt is off of your skin, then we can move on. And before we move on, I just wanna say a few more brands that I'm really loving right now. Now, La Mer, you guys know, it is a very expensive skincare brand. They have amazing makeup now, but this is another toner. It's called The Tonic. It is amazing for just kind of like a refresher throughout the day, and it doesn't leave you shiny or weird, which some toners can kind of leave your skin feeling, I don't know. Every, I mean, every product has something different. And then recently, the brand Fresh, who I discovered in Sephora like two years ago, and now I am such a fan, just put out the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner, and yes, those are rose particles in the bottle. I'm kind of living for it. It looks so cool. And I don't have it in front of me, but I used to use a Dove toner from the drugstore, actually, and it is alcohol-free. So remember, you guys, when you are buying stuff at the drugstore or at the mall or anywhere, look on the back of the bottle or the box and look at the ingredients. It might be in the middle, it might be front, it might be at the bottom, but if the word alcohol is in there and it's a toner, run for the hills. So after I tone my skin, I love to moisturize. Now, it's gonna be a little, uh, probably weird to explain this because I use different moisturizers throughout the week, so I don't stick to one every day. You know, sometimes I'll feel a little more dry, sometimes I'm traveling, like, a few of my favorites that I am obsessed with is, I have to say this La Mer one again, I know I've mentioned this in favorites videos, but this is the moisturizing soft cream, and I just ran out of my huge bottle. It lasted me like 11 months, which is pretty damn good. I know the price point is a little extreme, and a lot of you are gonna be like, Quack! girl spare me but I think after using it for a few years I, I've seen a difference and I love how it makes me feel another one that I am obsessed with is this Dior Capture Total Moisturizer and I love bringing this on trips. Now another really great one that I recommend to people is from the brand Fresh. Again, this is the ultimate ageless complexion treatment. It is a soft cream, meaning it is a moisturizer. Now it's a little weird because when you open it, it feels like almost air-like, like almost like flubber. It's like not, it's just weird. So I will take this and just kind of rub it in between my fingers and then we're just gonna massage all over the skin and I love just going all over the face like a mini little massage also you know what's crazy is perfume right 
I'm just gonna, this is a quick side note. When you are spraying perfume on yourself, that is literal pure alcohol with fragrance. It's really like alcohol mixed with alcohol. And we don't talk about the drinking kind, we're talking about real alcohol, the ingredient. And imagine every morning, what are you doing? You are literally spraying alcohol on your skin every single day. So when I do perfume, I really only spray it on my clothes or I'll dab a little bit and I'll barely rub it. But it's like, oh, every time I do it, I'm just like cringing because we're aging, honey, we're aging. So I'm bringing the extraness as always. So the brand Sicily a few months ago came out with something that is for the neck only. This is the neck cream. It's, it's supposed to firm, refine, and remodel your existence. Now, this is supposed to show improvement after a month. Now, I've used this for a while. I'm not gonna say that my neck looks better. Does it feel softer and has the skin kind of improved? I 100% will say it has. Mmm, smells so good. So the neck cream looks something like this. It smells so fresh and I love Sicily. I know you guys have heard me use this so many times on my channel. One of their favorite products of mine is their primer, which a lot of YouTubers are using now. This one though, the neck cream work. So we're just gonna take some out on our nail and we're just gonna dot it all over our our neck and this just feels so fresh and oh, amazing all right now let's talk about when you are gonna go out into the world you're, you're gonna leave your house and you're gonna say hello to the Sun which is aka the devil and what are we going to do about that now I am someone that is we keep saying the word extreme that's me now when I go outside you guys I don't ever sit in the sun longer than five minutes when I'm walking to my car. I will hold something up. I'm literally, this is not what I hold up normally, but I hold up things so the sun never touches my face. When I am walking around, let's say at a music festival or an outdoor mall or I'm walking somewhere far, I always bring like an umbrella. I don't give a fuck how dumb I look or what people say about me. Also, sunscreen is very important, you guys. Now, you don't have to get a bougie ass sunscreen. Of course, the drugstore has some great ones from Neutrogena, but I love a sunscreen with SPF 50. Now, here's a disclaimer that I'm just gonna say and put it out there. A lot of brands, even in the drugstore or the mall, will give a disclaimer of, yes, 150 SPF, da 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 da. That is a false advertisement and those products do not exist. Any, any brand is allowed to put whatever number they want on here and lie. I don't know why that's allowed legally, but if you've seen stuff that's like 110 SPF, it's not real. It can only go up to 50. Besides that, I always put on sunscreen before my makeup, definitely in the summer, especially out here. I always wear sunglasses. Now, I know I've mentioned this in previous videos and people probably roll their eyes, but girl, I just gotta say one thing. Sunglasses are probably one of the biggest keys of anti-aging for me personally that I have noticed throughout the years, I always look over at people, they're squinting, their eyes are fucked, they're looking crazy, the sun is beaming on their face in traffic, and, I, and they're just like, ah. I'm not gonna do it because I don't want my eyes to pull, but you know what I mean, when someone's squinting and it's like, <laughs> crow's feet to the gods, and I'm like, no. So every time I leave the house, I don't care if I have full makeup on or not, I am using this as an extreme example, but I love sunglasses. Now, these glasses are very obnoxious and big, which I love anything big in my hands, mouth, or face. I love these because they are massive. You know, you don't have to get designer sunglasses. There are a million sunglasses out there in the world. Just get some that are UV protected and don't get played by some false ass advertisement. Now, I know we talked about diet earlier, but I think it's very important to note that I don't party. And what I mean by partying is, you guys, is I don't drink alcohol, I don't get wasted. And a lot of you know this about me, but if you are new, hi. I have never tried alcohol before. I know that's gonna seem shocking to some people. I even had people go and dig up old videos on my channel when I was touring and doing music. And a lot of them were like, oh my God, we found a picture of you with a shot glass. And I'm like, girl, that was full of Fiji water and it was for the shot of like, you know, the, for, for camera, it was for that moment. I pretended to take a shot with my friend. There's also uh, a footage of me with a drink. When you go to a bar and you ask for a Red Bull or a Shirley Temple, which by the way is Sprite and Grenadine for everyone out there that is like, what the hell is that? Those come non-alcoholic. I will hold a drink and it looks like all my friends, but it's Red Bull. So please do not try to clock me not drinking is something that I am proud of, and I think at this age, there's really no point to start. My family comes from a long line of addicts, and I know there's some of you out there who can relate to that. Anyone that has a crazy cousin, or a brother, or a sister, or parents who are alcoholics, or, you know, addicts definitely can relate to me on that one, where, you know, 
Me personally, I didn't want to follow the footsteps of my family and go down that path, so I chose to never drink at a really young age. I've stuck to it. I don't see the point in it now. Um, you know, do I love smoking weed every day? Yes, that is relaxing and calming. It takes away my anxiety, and I just feel overall great um, after a hit or two. Also, quick note, I have never tried cigarettes. I have never puffed on one. Of course, I've done one for pictures in the past, but I've never smoked, and I think cigarettes and nicotine are so awful, and I know a lot of you are gonna try to come for me for smoking weed. It is such a big difference. Just go on Google and type, what is the difference between cigarettes and cannabis? And you will get a long list of what the hell is going on. So, besides that, you guys, I love face masks. And of course you guys have seen me use the Gravity Mud from Glam Glow over and over. It is one of my favorite products of all time. And another thing that I love for moisturizing, I know you guys have seen me on all over my Snapchat using the Sicily Black Rose Cream Mask. Also they have something called the Eye Contour Mask. Yes, this is crazy. You can almost feel it like pulsing on your skin. Also I just want to quickly shout out Kiehl's for their Midnight Recovery Eye Treatment. I love Love this. So I think I want to end this video by using a new mask I discovered a month ago and I've been trying it out for a few weeks to make sure it worked before I even dare talk about it because I am about to tell y'all about no bullshit. So the brand Charlotte Tilbury, which makes one of my favorite nude lipsticks of all time. So this is called the Instant Magic Facial Dry Sheet Mask. And basically this is supposed to hydrate, lift, reduce wrinkles, soothe, and brighten your skin tone. It comes like this, you open it up, bam. So we'll take one out. It has their classic rose gold packaging, which I live for. Now it's a little weird, you guys, because it is literally like dry. And there she is, whoa. So I'm just gonna read you guys the instructions. Now unfold your dry sheet mask, place pink side onto cleansed skin, we're cleansed honey, and it wants me to loop the top hooks over my ears, oh my god, another ear one, fuck where's Manny when I need him, loop bottom hooks also over the ears, ensuring the mask is smoothed over every facial contour, gently massage on top to activate leave on for 15 minutes. So the cool thing about it, you guys, is once it's on, you rub it and it actually starts to do something, which is crazy. So I'm just gonna put this on me right now. Look at that nose, honey. Yes! Now I'm the fool while you're breaking rules. All right, so the mask is on the face. It looks a little weird here because it does fold, but it does seamlessly go. The nose is on. So it, it basically says that it wants me to gently massage. Now I've been, I've did, this is my fourth mask I've done. And I really just go like this back and forth and I just massage it. And this is basically activating whatever ingredients are in here and it is starting to soak into the skin. I know you can't see much and it looks a little funky, but I promise it's working. So I'm going to massage this for another 30 seconds and I'll be back in 15 minutes. And 15 minutes later, we are back. I'm gonna take this mask off. Mask off, fucking mask off, hey. Mask off, Molly Percocet, hey. All right, and oh, my hair is crazy. All right, now that the mask is off, the skin, oh my God. I don't know what is in here when you rub it. It is so crazy. I'm like, where's the ingredients? Shea butter, glycerin, fruit oil, seed butter, vegetable oil, soybean oil. Oh my God. Okay, well, my skin, every time I use these, I'm like, you know when you, when you like, freshly do a mask and you can't stop feeling your skin because it feels baby soft? That's what's happening right now. But um, besides that, you guys, I hope you learned something new in today's video. If you think I am ridiculous for wanting to never age, great, keep on scrolling but I hope you guys learned something and just be careful out there with the Sun and your diet and just remember at the end of the day I love this type of stuff and this is what I'm into I have been a makeup artist for 15 years now and I am all into skincare and I think that it's very important if you're someone that doesn't give a fuck and you just watch this for entertainment thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video Mwah. bye guys